Hello everyone, this is Rafi the PC Doctor and today I'm going to show you my new project which I call the Laser Point Alarm Project. Uh, now in this project I use the Arduino Mega 2560. Uh, it's actually a powerful part of Arduino family. It's more powerful than its previous generations, the Arduino Uno here and the Arduino Leonardo. Now, which makes it um, special is that it has more, more analog in here inputs than the Arduino Uno here and the Arduino Leonardo. They are actually th the same. And it has more um, digital pin inputs than Uno and Leonardo now this is the main difference um, now in this project simply we're going to make a laser alarm alarm project using Arduino Mega and a few digital components and a laser light like this one here laser light yeah um, simply this circuit detects a continuous laser light pointing on the photoresistor here um, and when uh, the laser light is cut with any object the LED will light up and the piezo speaker will vibrate to create sound waves because as we said the piezo is a small circuit element that vibrates when it receives electricity and when it moves it displays air around it creating sound waves now taking a look to the Fritzing software here. Actually, the Fritzing is a free software you can download from the site Fritzing.org. Here's the site of Fritzing. Um, Fritzing.org. Yeah, it can go to the download part here. And there's can download for Windows. Um, for Macintosh, for Linux, 3264, it's actually a free and a good software to organize your PCBs before you can build them. Now here, as I use here, the Arduino Mega, and here you can see the black element, here's the piezo and the LED, and here is the photoresistor. The LED connected to 220 ohm resistor hooked up to the ground. Piezo, now, uh, one leg to the ground and the other two pin number 8. The LED 220 ohm resistor ground, then the second part is to pin number 12. For resistor part to the VCC. And part to the ground with a resistor but before that we have this one blue wire analog N0 yep. this is briefly was the circuit as we can see in here now let's take a look to the code using our Arduino software you can download two from the site arduino.cc yeah uh, first of all we have defined two integers note this one 262 which is C note and we have the laser reading yeah as we know in every Arduino project we have two parts in the software we have the setup part and the loop part now the setup part Serial begin will begin communicating with uh, making a connection with Arduino and the PC 9600, which is here the analog in the blue line here, which is connected to the photoresistor. And uh, we have defined pin mode 8 as output, which is the piezo, and 12. And output 2 which is the LED 
Now in the loop part we have the laser reading. It will read from A0, which is connected to the photoresistor. Now if the laser reading is less than 750. And now it will which means when the light has been interrupted, it will give a high tone. Digital read high and else when the laser is not interrupted. That's it. Let's, uh, let us implement our circuit. I'll connect the PC USB cable. Yep. And as we can see in here, this is the laser. I'll direct it to the four resistor and when I put my hand interrupting the laser as you can see the LED light up and piezo created sound waves now this is the laser line pointing to the four resistor and when my hand interrupt the laser line the LED will light up and the piezo will create sounds just like that and that's all the laser point alarm project thanks for watching